Welcome to a new video by DJSPRC. We have a Traxxas X Max, and basically, we're going to change the cush drive that is the slipper clutch here. Uh, we're just going to change it to the newer system they have. Basically, what you need to do is remove four bolts to remove your cover here. And I did remove the motor. You don't really need to if you want to, but I did. Just remember where your pins are if you do remove those pins. That's going to be your meshing. this case the cover and sometimes it's a pain to remove come on there we go and I'll keep the screws on it that way I know which one goes where and we just need to pull straight out and we have the complete assembly now what I'm going to do is move the truck aside, bring this here, and I'm going to try to zoom in. For you guys to be able to see a little better. Now I do have uh, all the parts here that I need. I have 7785X, 7794, and 7793X, and 7786. Basically, we are, we are rebuilding this thing, the A to Z. Remove this guy here. Try to pop the pin out. Sometimes they do get crusty. And they come they do jam in there. Now we will need to remove this nut here. That's one thing I forgot to bring with me. It is a seven mil. I got my MIP seven mil here. They want to stay in there. Then you have your spring, and you'll be able to separate these two in together. And this is a physically you clutch the disc or your pads if you wanted to. The only part we're going to really reuse in this here, if I remember correctly, might be just the spur because the rest bolts in the middle here. Now I can find my two mil. This guy here. Now, this setup that's in it right now, it is for the 6S version. The 8S version has the new Kush drive. Because we are running 8S in this machine here right now. And we just want something that will take the physical power of the vehicle. Now, open these guys up. Put one in this corner. Grab the shaft. you notice too I'm, I'm just keeping everything in their own corner <clears throat> that way I don't physically lose anything a 
This is the old shaft. This is the newer shaft. I physically don't need the old shaft. I'm gonna grab this guy here, this guy here. And, okay. One of the things I am noticing here that I don't have, uh, do I need it? I just want to make sure okay, that goes in here. I'm just going to bolt this guy in here. And I am missing three screws. Guess that I forgot to grab. Don't over tighten these guys here because they are screwed in plastic. And this spur is metal from Hot Racing. You could do it with a drill, but easy to strip out. This goes in between these guys here. Now it does insert this way inside of it, in between these guys. What well, you can't insert it right now because you need to put your shaft and once it's in your shaft, that's where your physical seat, the pin that goes, this pin here. There's two sides of it. I'll call the smaller rays here and the bigger one. The bigger one goes here. Grab our pin. Insert our pin. Put our kind of a, I don't know really how you call this, a clutch assembly or something. And then we're just gonna Push her down, put this kind of a in the middle, and insert our rubbery thingy, thingamajig, and now this goes dead center here, flattens everything, and these are three screws I am missing, and see, this goes inside of here, now I need to remove it. I forgot to put the the other spacer that goes right here first. Then our pin. Then yeah, no use another gun. Stay there. Now I just need to make sure about one thing here. Yeah, it's seated correctly. The space around the other side, make sure, because there is a, a, a groove in it, that is, it is seated correctly. Now I'm just gonna put this aside. I'm just gonna grab my spare screws that I have here. I got my screws, they're three by 10, uh, basically flathead. And I had time to check one thing. I'm doing this wrong. Basically, we're gonna remove everything here remove our spacer shaft goes in first this guy goes in first then our pin seated this way now this guy here goes right there kind of does a lock Okay, and then our clutch 
pad. I don't know how really, like I said, I don't know how you, what you can call this. Now this fits a lot better than it did. Believe me. And now this goes on top. Now, and if it's some of you guys have the RPM speed sensor, this is where you insert your magnet. There's a place to insert it. Now I'll take three screws out. There we go. Now, if you have them too in stainless, you could put them in stainless, at least it won't rust. But unfortunately, I don't have any that's uh, stainless right now. But again, a lot of these manufacturers, they sh that's one thing they should they should do, especially around like a clutch pad or something. Put them in stainless. That way they won't be hard to remove and so harsh. Now, I, I don't know why I have a gut feeling. I might have missing a bearing here. Yeah, did the boo-boo again. There is a bearing that goes here. Yeah. I guess I need to remove this again. <laughs> but at least it's not super hard to dismantle. And I'm not afraid to say when I did a boo boo. Pop this out straight. Remove this. Now, just a size. Six by thirteen. There you go. Normally, I'm a lot more organized, but I guess today I'm not. Again, this goes in. We have our funky washer. Put this guy back in again. Grab our screws. I'm just going to put one in for the moment right now. Like trying to make this video less long. Now we have this guy here. I'm not reusing the stock one. That's right here. They are physically, look, they look like the same size, but I have a brand new one. We put our pin through it here. Insert our gear. Put a brand new bearing on this side here and we're able to reinsert this in the vehicle now if you did remove it you'll be able to put it back on and take a second or two more here i'm just gonna screw these guys back in and put it back in the vehicle out of the way let's bring the vehicle closer zoom out a bit make sure our bearing is seated at the end insert it back in the vehicle itself Take your gear cover. 
Now in this gear right here where my finger pointing right now, you could put a little bit of marine grease if you wanted to. That will help. And screw this guy back in. These MIP drivers, when they hook onto your screw, they hook on, believe me. And you just repeat the step you just did. Your gear is right here. Put back your motor in. Make sure to bolt everything back up and you're off to the races. Now, if you guys have any comment or question, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.